Space Football, another classic Super Nintendo game. Oh, hello. Welcome back to our home. The video game area, as you can see, is behind me. Today, I'm going to discuss something that I've always thought about doing. A lot of people have messaged on the YouTube channel saying, how come you don't do any top tens, or what are your top ten favorite this, or this, and favorite video games, or favorite consoles, and ah, yada, 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 yada. And, it, and I always hated top ten lists, because basically, first off, they're all opinion-based. You can have like a thousand people vote on what their favorite systems are and all that stuff, which is great. You can do that. Awesome. But then you get all those people complaining, saying, oh my god, why did you think the Nintendo 64 was the third best system? Or, oh my god, why did you think the Dreamcast wasn't even in the worth the top ten? Blah, 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 blah. So I figured I'm not going to do a top ten because I don't want people to sit and uh, complain about what I picked, even though they are your own opinion. But I am going to do a top ten of something that maybe won't be as controversial. And this first one is going to be all about 10, the top 10 games of the current generation for a retro-minded gamer. So a person that loves old school games, they love their Turbo Graphics, they love their Neo Geo, they love their NES, and they're a little bit intimidated by coming into the universe that is the current gen consoles, like the Wii and the Xbox 360s and your PlayStation Trisbots and all those things. But but I'm here to give you 10 games that you should check out that are not all that intimidating. And they're pretty fun and you don't have to sit and do the usual crap. You don't have to sit and go online and all this other stuff that I always have an issue with with a lot of current gen stuff like your Call of Duties and your Grand Theft Autos and all that garbage that I just am not all that interested in because they're all the same thing over and over again. So here, I'm going to talk about 10 things, 10 games that you might dig. If you're a retro gamer and you want to check out something on the current generation. So, current gen for the retro mind. Here we go, top 10. <laughs> Number 10, indie games. And I know that it's probably a bad idea to say, oh, all the indie games, go for it. But I'm saying this because I can make the entire top 10 of the indie games that are available on the Xbox Live or some of the download stuff on the Wii that are available guys to download. Demos, free demos on the Xbox Live, um, because try it before you buy it type things on the Xbox, which is really sweet. Um, but I'll give you a couple examples. So indie games on the Xbox Live, lots of good examples. One, the Breath of Death game. Breath of Death, I think it's seven. Great old school RPG if you like your Lunars, if you like your Turbo Graphics style um, RPG, like your Dragon Slayers or your Eastbook 1 and 2. Boom, Breath of Death, seven. Also DLC Quest, it's a really fun game that's on the Xbox Live. And then on the Wii, there's actually Cave Story, which is amazing. A great side scroll on uh, Metroidvania type game. Um, Cave Story is really excellent. And then uh, one of my favorites is actually Cthulhu Saves the World. That's on the Xbox 360. Great RPG. Um, a couple of really good indie games right there for you. So if you don't have them, give them a shot. Indie games. Number nine on the list of ten games of the current gen for the retro mind. N plus. This game is everywhere. If you like Ninja Gaiden, if you like old school um, side scrolling action ninja games, N plus is hilarious. It's a good multiplayer game on the Xbox Live, on the PlayStation, it's on the DS, it's on just about everything. So if you have an ability to get N plus, try the demo. It is hilarious, it's fun, it's a 2D side scroller, great, great game. N plus, you can't go wrong with it. It's a load of fun. Really good game, you should definitely check it out. Number eight on my list, Castle Crashers. This game is out on the 360 and the PS3. 
Um, if you like side scroll beat em ups, Cast Crash is an awesome game, and I know this is a very, very popular game that I'm sure everyone has played. Uh, if you haven't, well then get the hell out there and at least try the demo. You gotta give it a shot, it's a lot of fun. Side scroll beat em up, it's got a lot of RPG elements in it, it's got a little bit of Golden Axe, a little bit of DD, it's a whole bunch of mix in there, some of that Flight of the Dragons, all those other games. Um, really good stuff, give it a shot. That is Castle Pressures. Check it out. Number seven, A Boy and His Blob. Awesome, awesome game. Really a lot of fun. It pays homage to the original NES one, except for it fixes a lot of the issues that were going on with that Nintendo game. While the Nintendo game was a brilliant idea, it sure was flawed. There was a lot of issues with it. Now they've made this beautiful HD universe on the Nintendo Wii, fittingly so, I think. It's staying with the Nintendo console. Boy and his Blob, awesome game. Give it a shot on the Nintendo Wii. That is number seven. Number six. Blue Dragon on the Xbox 360. You're probably thinking, Blue Dragon, that was this overhyped 3D RPG that was supposed to come out like in 09 or 08, I don't know what it was. Yes, but the thing is right now, is if you got um, an itch to play an RPG, and this one is an old school style RPG, sure that's next gen um, graphics, uh, really, really beautiful stuff, all in HD, looks beautiful. Uh, the game is very simple to follow. A lot of fun, big huge battles, great random battles, good storyline, um, really good cutscenes, everything like that. Blue Dragon's an excellent, excellent RPG. And I think if you went out now and looked on Amazon or eBay or even GameStops, the game is around 10 bucks, and that's complete. Go get it. It's a lot of fun. If you have an Xbox 360 and you're looking for an RPG, Blue Dragon's a great game. Great, great bargain, bargain game right now. Blue Dragon. Number five on my current gen for the retro mind is the Konami Rebirth series on the Nintendo Wii. Those are Wii games that you can go onto the Wii Virtual Console and download. They're new versions of old games. They did a Castlevania Rebirth, they did a Gradius Rebirth, and they did a Contra Rebirth. Now, I, I, Gradius is very fun, but the Contra and the Castlevania games are amazing. And I really, really, really emphasize this. The Castlevania one especially is the first Castlevania game that plays like a traditional old school Castlevania game since I think Castlevania Chronicles, which was on the PlayStation 1. Um, a ton of fun. That's a really good game, and Contra Rebirth is awesome. It plays like an arcade version of the Contra 3. It's got a whole bunch of mix-in of other levels. Really awesome, great graphics. Um, really inexpensive. I think they're like 10 bucks each on the Wii Virtual Console. I would go and check it out right now. Those are great games. Um, I know, again, I'm giving you a pack of games, but that's my number five. I could go on and make those a big chunk of my top five, which would be Contra Rebirth and Castlevania Rebirth. But I'm going to give you all of them as just number five. Check those out, Castlevania Rebirth, Contra Rebirth, and then if you still got some Wii points left over, check out Gradius Rebirth. Lots of fun. Number four on my list are fighting games. Oh my god, you're thinking to yourself, this isn't even a game, I'm not just giving you one game to pick. No, I'm giving you fighting games. Because that's the one type of game, genre, that's still cool. Like, they didn't screw it up, they didn't turn it into some 3D first person shooter, they didn't turn it into some random, oh now it's just like Grand Theft Auto where I've got an open environment and I can do crap. It's fighting games. Fighting games still have the same, same concept as they did 10, 15 years ago. I'll give you a couple that are the best of the best of the fighting games that I think right now. You got King of Fighters 13 on the 360 or the PS3. Awesome fighting game. If you're a fan of all of the King of Fighters series, you know that that SNK and Neo Geo or SNK, whoever the Playmore, uh, they put a lot of emphasis on the storyline building. So if you want to go through a game, take one character or take a team of characters and go through the game, and you want to see it completely different the next time you go around, try it with different characters. King of Fighters series alone is uh, probably one of my favorites of all time, period. It's a great series, um, King of Fighters 13, and I'm sure whenever they come up 14, that'll be another must-buy game. King of Fighters games are excellent, and this one is no, is, is not to be left out. 13 looks amazing, and plays just as good. Another fighting game to check out for my number four, yeah, number four, is Virtua Fighter 5. I know this came out for the PS3 and the 360. It is a near flawless 3D fighting game. Um, if you're a fan at all of Virtua Fighter, Tekken, Soul Calibur, any of those games, 
Virtual Fighter 5 does it better than all of them. It always has. If you don't have the same opinion as me, maybe you'd want to play your Tekken games and your Soul Calibur, whatever number they're on now, like 13 or whatever, like Darth Vader and Spawn, or whatever crap they try to throw in your face so that you actually purchase the game. Virtual Fighter 5 is stuck with the same face as it says, we're going to make this perfect fighting game. Virtual Fighter 2 was excellent on Saturn, Virtual Fighter 4 was amazing on the PlayStation 2. Now Virtual Fighter 5 takes those same concepts and puts it forward in high definition, in your face, perfect fighting game. And last but not least is Capcom Street Fighter 4 series. You got Street Fighter 4, Super Street Fighter 4, Super Street Fighter 4, Arcade Edition, whatever they got out right now. It's on the 360, it's on the 3DS for Nintendo's DS system, it's also on the PlayStation 3. Um, you can't go wrong with Street Fighter 4. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it takes a lot of the concepts of Street Fighter 2 and Street Fighter 3 and uh, puts them in a 3D perspective. It looks 3D, but it plays 2D. Love it. Good game, Street Fighter 4. Number three on my list for must-have current-gen games for the retro mind, number three is Limbo. Limbo is an amazing side-scroller game. It's got real noir feeling going while you're through it. Um, it plays similar to like Out of This World or Flashback did from back in the day, maybe a little bit of Abe's Odyssey. Uh, really good side-scrolling game. You gotta figure it out while you're going through it. You're gonna die a lot of times, just like you did in Out of This World, just like you did in Flashback. If you're a fan of that t type of game at all, Limbo is the type is the game you want. It's a really great game. You must check it out. Try the demo on the 360 or the PS3 and you'll be hooked right away. It's beautiful. Number two on my list for current gen games for the retro mind. Number two is a toss-up. Number two and one, actually one, two, and three. Actually, all these games are excellent. But I'm gonna say number two is Braid for the 360. It's also on Windows, downloadable. Um, but Xbox 360's Braid, it came out probably four or five years ago already. But it is so good. If you've got an Xbox 360 and you've got some Microsoft dollars, to spend, get Braid, um, try the demo at first, it's a great, great game, it plays very similar to like your Donkey Kongs or your Mario Brothers, but it completely engulfs the time concept, the game, you control time, so if you die, you can reverse, and then go around the object that you got killed by, You're thinking to yourself, wow, this is kind of lame, but there are so many aspects of the game that you don't even realize are available, it just completely opens your mind, a different way of thinking, um, Braid, it's awesome. It's one of my favorite games that I've seen on any console, period. And just the fact that it's in the current gen is huge. It's great. If you've never played it, get it. Um, if you've played it, then you can probably tell everybody how awesome it is, because I don't think there's anybody that doesn't like Braid. Number one, the best current gen video game for a retro gamer is the Nintendo Wii's Muramasa. This is a classic side-scrolling ninja action game. You like your Ninja Guidance, you like your Legend of Cage, you like Ninja Spirit on the Turbo Graphics. Great storyline, amazing near HD graphics. I won't say it's HD because it's on the Wii. It's on the Wii Eyes, the best thing to do. But Muramasa looks amazing and plays just as good. Um, that's a great game. I mean, it's got so much going for it. It's exactly what I was hoping for. It's a hard game that you can actually go to the store and buy. It's a really inexpensive title now. Matter of fact, most of these games you should be able to find for bargain prices. They're all excellent and they won't bore you to tears like your Call of Duties and other crap. They're first person shooters and then six months later they release the same game again with a different map. So, yeah. These are actual video games. Wow. Video games. For current gen. So anyway, I strongly recommend you guys go out and check out all 10 of these different type of games. I know I probably listed about 20 games here, giving you all the indie games, giving you all a bunch of fighting games, giving you the Castlevania Rebirth, the Contra Rebirth, Muramasa, Braid, Castle Crashers, and plus. All these games. So go out, check it out now. Um, if you've got an Xbox, the Xbox Live or the PlayStation Network, you can go on and download half of these games since most of them are downloadable. Also on the Wii, you can go on the Nintendo Network download games like that, or you can go into the stores and check out some of the titles I listed. Anyway, that's Josh. I just wanted to let you know, these are some games in the current generation that I actually dig a lot, and I think if you guys are into retro gaming and you've got current gen and you think it's just for kids, think again. Alright, talk to you guys later.